During the second half of my live stream where I'm butchering my own characters, somebody asked me, what do you think of Silent Hill Revelations? Well, there are a lot of things I'm opposed to, like Cheryl's crappy juggalo makeup, the school being named All Hallows Eve, really, Heather's cliche, nobody pay any attention to me, attention getter speech. A lot. So don't bother trying to remember my name because I'm sure as hell not gonna remember yours. That CGI mannequin thing. <laughs> and the epic boss fight between Pyramid Head and the Claudia monster are just some of the things that are wrong with this movie. But what I find to be the most intolerable is what they did to Vincent's character. I was so enraged that I decided that this would be a good time to talk about what ruins a good character. Out of the entire Silent Hill game series, Vincent has always been my favorite character. And for good reason, too. His original voice actor did a superb job. I know about the pleasures of this world. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. You feel excited when you step on them and snuff out their lives. You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. And the execution of his character was also done very well. Vincent is greedy and manipulative and seems to get pleasure out of other people's pain. I saw the way he hit you. And kicked you made you cry. Vincent also runs a church in Silent Hill, so at times he's also referred to as Father Vincent. At a certain point, he even convinces Heather that she's been killing people this whole time and has only been seeing them as monsters. Don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood. You feel excited when you Step on them and snuff out their lives. Are you talking about the monsters? Monsters? They look like monsters to you? Oh no. Don't worry. It's just a joke. Then he slaps it on you that it was just a joke. No harm done, I just made you think you were killing hundreds of people. The only reason why he's on your side is because he too wants to stop the demon god from being born. Otherwise, it was speculated that he was originally planning to kill Heather. Team Silent did a great job with his facial expressions. His character is truly brought to life. That is something that even a lot of mainstream games of today have a problem doing. There are still a lot of characters today that just look like puppets talking. Their eyebrows move up and down and their mouths move up and down, but that's really just it sometimes. The role of manipulative father of a church whose greedy plans happen to coincide with your plan to destroy the demon god was completely revamped for the Silent Hill Revelations movie. Now he's this. Hey look, you wanna get a coffee? You? Yeah, pretty real. We're just pretty. Look, I'm gonna call you later. I didn't give you my number. He went from being such a memorable, unique character to being the teenage love interest of Heather. Oh my god. Vincent is completely useless in the movie. The cult in Silent Hill sent him out to retrieve Heather. However, Douglas, a detective they also sent out to retrieve Heather, already found her. Aside from getting captured and ugh, k kissing Heather, He's really just a useless pretty boy. And from what I've heard, he's also supposed to be a good actor too, so what the fuck? Vincent in Silent Hill 3 had so much depth to him. Now his character is so shallow. He's basically the male version of the damsel in distress trope. And he's also very stupid. Silent Hill Revelations Vincent has been born and raised in the cult in Silent Hill. All they have ever taught him is that Alessa is evil and needs to be destroyed. And yet just a day after having met Heather, he's like, Oh, I love you. How can you be evil? Oh, I don't know, maybe because for the past 17 or more years people have been telling you otherwise? Then after a bunch of hullabaloo happens and he ugh, kisses her, Alessa has been gotten rid of however way they decide how to do it. And supposedly the nightmare is over, but it's still there. Okay. And then Heather's dad tells Vincent, Look after my little girl, you hear? Ah yes, let the boy who has been born and raised in a cult take care of your little girl. The very thing he was originally sent out to destroy. 
Good parenting. And then they run away together. Woo! And that's Vincent's amazing character change. So just to put it all in a nutshell, let's see exactly how Vincent's character was reduced. Vincent was this. He was whiny, manipulative, greedy, egotistical. He was quirky. When he laughs at his own jokes, he can't even utter a sound. He was the father of a church in Silent Hill, and he was planning on making money off of it. He teams up with the protagonist to stop Claudia, but only for his own selfish reasons. Now let's see how his character was changed, and how that affected the quality of his character. 1. His role in the story was changed to be solely the love interest of the protagonist. 2. He's also completely useless to the plot. 3. Vincent contradicts himself in an inexcusable way, in that, being born and raised in the cult, he finds some way to love Heather after just knowing her for a very short while, in which she hasn't done anything very impressive, other than be kind of nice to him. This is just a small list of things that you can do to ruin a character. Of course, there will always be little exceptions, but if you use a lot of these traits at once, you'll most likely get a character that's terrible. Anyway, I'll always be a fan of the original Vincent. He's the coolest. You have to love that you hate him. Thank you for watching. See you in court.